Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria, this is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we are bringing forth messages from Spirit. We're going to start with a postcard from Spirit, from your spiritual soul tribe, your angels, your spirits, your guides, your past loved ones, all the wonderful spiritual beings that are always with you by your side to lift you up, to carry you forward. By the very nature of this reading, this is timeless. Whenever it finds you is exactly when it's meant to. There may be a snippet of information that resonates. There may be a few sentences. There may be a whole reading. Trust that when this reading does find you, that it is meant to. For some of you, this may find you more than one time. So whether you see this reading the day that I post it or years from now, trust that there's a message here for you somewhere. Well, let's get into your reading here and let's have a look and see what comes out for you guys and what your spiritual soul tribe has to say. Messages for cancer, please. What does cancer need to know most for their best and highest good? Thank you very much. And we have here, love your love your dreams. There we go. I'm trying to read that on the very bottom there. It's kind of light. So let's see what they have. Dearest you, over here there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and your soul. Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what or the why, we do. Surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysterious and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor. Loving you so much, as always. Beautiful message to believe, to open your heart. Humans do have the wonderful interesting tendency to want to put order and structure to everything but not everything fits in that realm so let's see which angel is working with you the most right now and what messages come forward of course our angel spirits guides are always with us always helping us but sometimes they do step forth a little stronger so let's have a look thank you oh we have wow okay am i taking all those Yes, I am. Okay, we have three coming out here for you, so let's have a look and see. We have Archangel Raziel coming in here with your dreams. Our dreams are sometimes a little bit of a roadmap, sometimes a puzzle, sometimes our subconscious coming to light. We can play an active role in our dreams. Or we can sometimes be that bystander. Sometimes our dreams are wild and crazy, and sometimes they make perfect sense. So you may be experiencing a period right now where you are having some interesting dreams. You may remember them when you wake up in the morning. You may also just have a feeling, an idea. Maybe it's a fleeting. Keep a dream journal doesn't even have to be an actual dream journal a pen and a paper beside your bed the first couple of minutes when we wake up is where our subconscious is still active and still um, at the forefront it's before our conscious mind says oh yeah hey wait cancer's awake oh let's spring into action so it's in those few minutes when you first do wake up that you may be able to grab on to some energy to some thoughts some feelings impressions write them down. Over time, it's interesting how things kind of play out for you. Sometimes they invoke you to um, ask some questions. Sometimes you might just be looking at what you wrote down and going, okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> so, but over time, sometimes things do make sense. So write those down because you just never know. Our dreams can, you know, really bring forth some very interesting things to us. We also have Archangel Uriel, Abundance. 
This is a time of increased abundance in your world. Archangel Uriel is here to help you. You are being called to trust and have faith and to be open and be in receiving mode. Some of you may be actively trying to manifest some dreams into reality. Abundance can mean many things. It can mean friends, family, love, creative energy, money. Whatever abundance you are trying to manifest in your world, this is a time of increase for you, expansion, growth, to follow your dreams, to make something happen. For some of you in the very near future, your dreams may really be about to come true. And if you're having some, uh, you know, some dreams in the night, this can certainly be spirit's way of trying to get you to trust and have faith. Just like your soul tribe says here, open your heart. You may not be able to control the outcome. We can't always control and micromanage the universe. We just need to allow. So call on Archangel Uriel for some help because some of you with Archangel Shamuel or Shamael, I should say, coming in here, we've got new beginnings. So for some of you, this is a brand new cycle blossoming in your life. You might be looking to start a new job. You may just be on the new phase of your journey through life. You might be starting a project. You might be making some change. What are those new beginnings for you? There's a really big energy here of spirit encouraging you to take the first step with beginnings to follow your dreams. And this is your path to finding that abundance in your world. Remember, we're always co-creating our reality with spirit, with the universe. We are given doors, we are given opportunities, we are given ideas, we're given inspiration. And it's up to us to take that step, to trust and have faith in our journey, just like the Fool card, right? The Fool encourages us to take the next steps and trust and have faith that we're making the right choices and, we're, and, and that we're on the right path. And so just like that Fool energy, that's what Spirit is encouraging you to do. But be open. Allow. We have patience. We have the Six of Cups, Memories of Love, is that one? Throat Chakra. And we have Wisdom coming in there. We're going to get another one. Sacral Chakra. We've got some changes coming for you in a very wonderful way. We've got a couple of fives out on the table for you. The bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, prosperity begins. Whoa, look at the symbol, look at the uh, similarities between these two cards. Archangel Uriel brings abundance. We have a tree. Prosperity begins. We also have a tree showing those roots. This is a time of increased prosperity, growth, expansion, new jobs, promotions, raises, bonuses. Allow that energy to flow because there's something exciting here for you. But sometimes we need to have patience. With the temperance card here, we're bringing Sagittarian energy. Find a balance, trust on your journey. And then we do need to have a little bit of patience. This is a time of increased understanding, especially since we do have the wisdom card there. It's the Hierophant card there. But Spirit's really encouraging you on your journey not to beat yourself up if you're not where you want to be right now. For some of you, you might be doing some reflection on the past with the Six of Cups energy. Reflecting on the past and you know, sometimes when we look at the past, sometimes we Review things with rose color glasses. We sometimes pull the wool over our own eyes and we think that things have been better than they actually have been Sometimes when we look upon the past we get frustrated that we haven't achieved something that we wanted to achieve or that things aren't happening fast enough 
But in those times, the spirit is inviting you and encouraging you to have patience because this energy here is really representing that your angel spirits guides are right beside you, right? Carrying you through those times of difficulty, showing you your path forward. Pay attention to all signs, symbols, and synchronicities in your world. This is quite often one of my guardian angel cards that come out. They're right there, right beside you. So if you need help on your journey, or if you're not sure about what the future holds, call on all of your angels. But the memories of love with patience is, Spirit is saying here, to be in the present, to be focused in the here and the now, and trust that everything that you are manifesting in your world is already here, because energetically it is. As soon as you set your intentions, you have set that wheel in motion. Sometimes it does take a while for things to manifest into our material world, only because there's um, a lot of different puzzle pieces that do need to fall into place. So have patience, live in the moment, live in the here and the now. The Six of Cups energy is one of being present, being here, being focused on today. Reflecting on our past, but trusting that we have left our past journey behind and we are ready to move forward. Making plans for the future, but being focused and present in the here and the now. Have a little bit of fun. Trust in your journey. And that things will be revealed to you as you move forward. But speak your truth. Your throat chakra is all about communication. Expressing yourself. Setting intentions. Being clear. Being honest. When our throat chakra is activated, we can certainly, our words have a lot more impact. Our ability to express our feelings and our thoughts. It's freeing, a freedom of communication, internal and external. So remember, whatever you do speak, whatever you do say, you can speak something into existence. You can speak something into reality. This is awesome energy with the throat chakra. Some of you might want to focus on your throat chakra, do some throat chakra meditations, make sure that your throat chakra is cleared and opened and activated. Work with the color blue. If you're going on a job interview, wear blue. Blue is um, actually one of the uh, one of the colors, not like a, a bright neon, vibrant blue, unless you're going for a job interview into an environment that encourages that. But like a navy blue, um, it's not as harsh as black. Um, and it's actually one of kind of like the power colors. So like a nice navy blue or um, like a blue shirt. Hell, you know what? If you don't want to wear blue on the outside, throw on some blue underwear. You might also want to work with blue crystals, aquamarine, celestite, kyanite, any kind of blue. And that can certainly help to keep that throat chakra open so that you can express yourself in the right way. You can be articulate in those times of giving presentations or giving interviews. And you can really speak your truth and get your point across very clearly, very concisely, and with impact. Have faith and believe you are being called to use your inner wisdom to tap into something special that resides within you. And have faith in yourself, have faith in the universe here. There are changes. Some of you are actively trying to make some changes in your world right now. Bring something new to light or gain some deeper wisdom and insights and understanding about how about your journey thus far. Because the wisdom card here, the Hierophant card bringing Taurus energy can certainly represent our ability to learn our higher level learning. 
learn about our spiritual selves, our higher selves, learn about our past experiences and how they can impact us today and how we can use those experiences to um, help us in the future. It's one thing to look back on things and to know some information. It's a completely other thing to really understand it. Those building blocks of wisdom will take you to new heights. Be committed on your journey and have faith that the changes that you're trying to make are happening for you. Sometimes those changes happen little small increments, sometimes big ones. I feel here it's your time to grow and to blossom and to allow. We do have the two fives. The throat chakra is number five. The wisdom card hierophant is number five. Patience is number 14. One, new beginnings, new insight, new inspiration, new opportunities, manifestation, bringing something new or improved into your world. Four, stability and security your home, your career, whatever that looks like to you, your sense of self. You put that one and four together and we've got a five. So we've got the energy of triple five around you. So be open. Create the life that you want. Your sacral chakra is where our creativity lies. It's our source of intimacy, being able to open ourselves up, put down our walls, put down our barriers and allow ideas and thoughts, opportunities to flow inward and outward. So your sacral chakra, orange is another color to work with. The color orange, Eden orange, orange crystals, orange may certainly help you in that energy. Open yourself up, Spirit, saying it is safe because there's some blessings coming your way and Spirit's trying to make sure that you are ready to receive them. The Eight of Pentacles. You've worked so hard on your journey and you are about to shine. You are about to achieve a level of mastery and skill and use that to your advantage for some of you. Again, it's a career change in some way whether it's more money in your current situation because you are getting paid what you're worth, what you deserve, whether you're stepping out of an employee kind of role into some sort of leadership role. Maybe you're just in charge of a project, in charge of a department. Maybe you're stepping into a supervisory level, a trainer role even, because when we have the eight of pentacles, it is a level of mastery, a level of skill in your world, especially in your knowledge, your career. So some of you may be um, considering going back to school to hone your skill set to give yourself an advantage in your material world. Some of you are already in school and you're about to graduate. But this is showing that there is the potential here to level up. You are about to achieve what you have been working hard for. For some of you, you're completing projects and goals. Whatever you're doing here is Spirit is encouraging you to keep on your path that you're on and know and trust that you've got a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, a lot of skill to get yourself to the next level where you want to be. Spirit's also encouraging you here in this energy that it's time to create the life that you want because wherever you put your energy, you have all of the skills and the knowledge that you need to succeed. The Knight of Pentacles, new job, leveling up. Look at this, eight of pentacles to the knight of pentacles. Whatever your situation is, there is something that is here leveling up for you. So offers and opportunities, gifts, increased knowledge and skill. Your ability to keep on moving forward with the knight of pentacles, keep on moving forward one day at a time, six of cups, one day at a time here in the now. Pay attention to the details, be open to opportunity, be open to change, but keep putting one foot in front of the other because you are on track, you are on the right path. Sometimes on our journey, the five of wands, another number five for you, sometimes on our journey we are met with conflict or competition along our way. With the knight of pentacles, the knights can very easily overcome 
and outshine any one of your competitors. You may be in a position here where you can create order out of disorder. And again, perhaps you have some skill set there where you can mediate or you can lead a department or you can um, resolve issues in a way that other people maybe can't take that lead role in some way. But the Five of Wands shows that there may be a little bit of conflict um, in an inner conflict, maybe there's some uncertainty, like I don't know what I want, I've worked so hard for these things, I've been training for things, and I'm just kind of all in a kerfuffle. Ground your energy and trust in your journey and have faith. Take a step back, live in the moment, here in the now, and you will figure things out or you will find the answers, you will find that common ground that you need to move forward. But Spirit says here with the Five of Wands, because it can bring a little bit of drama in fighting to things. And so Spirit says if that's your circumstances, onwards and upwards, it's time for you to move forward and move on. To follow your wishes and your goals and your dreams with the Nine of Cups. So I feel here in this energy that Spirit is encouraging you that even if you run into obstacles and issues and challenges on your journey, again, have faith because your dreams, your wishes, your intentions are within reach. Whatever you've been working for, striving for, whatever you want to, want to come into your world, it's all blossoming now. The Nine of Cups does bring about our wishes and our goals. It does bring about this energy of feeling like you're in a good place, like you've got a sense of accomplishment, like I've made it. So keep on trusting in that journey. And again, patience may be required. And the Knight of Pentacles brings patience to your situation too. I think there's a little bit of magic in the air for you guys. We have card number 63. This is a little bit of numerolo numerological guidance for you. And we have parenting coming in here. <laughs> I have to laugh at this one a little bit because we do have that five of wands coming in here. And when we're parenting, I mean, sure, some of you may have some family situations that are playing out, okay, or your goal in making a better life for yourself is not just making a better life for yourself, but also making a better life for the people that depend on you, your children. The six of cups can be an energy of children. But the parenting energy, I feel kind of in this context that it's coming in, I feel here that for some of you, um, you might be trying to start a family, okay? Or you may feel that your biological clock is ticking in some way. For some of you, your focus might be on relationships, especially with that Six of Cups um, and also the Wisdom card. Whatever your situation is, the parenting card here, I feel if some of you, if your goal is increased abundance, prosperity, a new job, okay, or your ability to level up here with the parenting energy, I feel here that you might be able to step into the role of creating um, order out of a little bit of chaos. The five of wands can be a, a team of people, right? A team of people who should be playing nice in the sandbox but who are probably a whole bunch of different kind of personalities working together to achieve a common goal. But sometimes that does come across and come out with a little bit of chaos, disorder, and a little bit of drama. And I feel here in this parenting energy that you might have that skill set there and you may actually have those doors of opportunity to take that leadership role and to get everybody back on track and on the same page because if you have ever been in the position where you actually are responsible for employees it's just like having children <laughs> okay so in this parenting energy you might be the person who can take care of other people whether that's in your home or whether that's in your career path the parenting energy is also about nurturing, nurturing your goals, nurturing your dreams, right? Making sure that you have the resources that you need to have something blossom in your world. So babysit your goals and your dreams. Have a little bit of patience here in this energy too. But sixes, threes, and fives, 
may really play a key role in your world. We also have 37 coming out here with a timeout. And just like that patience energy, that temperance energy, everything in moderation, um, you know, finding balance um, and having faith, being a little bit patient to achieve what you want to achieve, time out. Take a step back, open your heart, allow. Trust and have faith that there's a lot of wonderful helping hands around you. Threes is the number of creation, the backbone of manifestation, fertility, growth, expansion, sevens are about wholeness and completion, but also the number of spirit. So spirit is helping you to achieve the abundance that you are looking for in your life. Okay. And they're asking you to take a time, uh, to take a little bit of a time out to take a step back and allow. Sometimes we do need to take that time. We've set the ball in motion and we do need to take that step back. Just to give ourselves and give your uh, your soul tribe here, give the universe a chance to m get something blossoming in your world. Because if we're trying to micromanage everything all the time and we're, you know, worried or, you know, we keep trying to manifest the same thing over and over and over again, we create resistance. So taking that step back, taking that time out, allow things to blossom in your world, but still be aware and ready to take action when you need to recognize opportunities as they occur and as they come across your path but take that step back know in the temperance energy know when to take action but know when to take that step back but i think there's a lot of magic in the air for you and some wonderful things happening in your world so i'm going to leave that there cancer i hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level if there was, please consider hitting like on this video, subscribing to my channel, and hit that notification bell, and you'll always know when I post something new. In the meantime, I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.